my financial disclosures. One of the most frustrating things a physician deals with is a patient who presents with pain and we cannot relieve their pain. And the pain I'm gonna be talking about today is the pain of dry eye, eye strain, and headache. The type of dry eye I'm talking about is a phantom dry eye that is so frustrating because even though they're having the symptoms, no treatment I use makes them feel better. Or worse, a revolutionary dry eye drug that is in clinical trial, we're trying to get FDA approval, and it doesn't happen because phantom dry eye symptoms weren't recognized, and we never get to bring it to market. Or digital vision syndrome that is an epidemic because of near tasks these days affecting so many Americans with workplace productivity and stealing their joy. Or headaches that are extremely frustrating because they don't fit any of the classic categories and don't respond to classic treatment and they're constant. And they have a dry eye sensation and light sensitivity that is worse with near activities what neurologists are calling a trigeminal dysphoria headache. And what if I told you that with these types of headaches and digital vision syndrome and phantom dry eyes that there was a common mechanism and treatment? And I learned this the hard way. Two patients I had done about a de decade ago, a nice LASIK, a nice cataract patient, and I was dealing with horrible dry eye symptoms that they were very frustrated with me. And the frustrating part of it was that even though they wanted to scratch their eyes out, they didn't look dry, they didn't test dry, and they didn't respond to any dry eye therapy. And they both showed up about three months apart in a pair of glasses that said that it made their symptoms go away. Dry eye symptoms gone. I grew up on the plains of South Dakota. I practiced in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And the optometrist who taught me this practices in Mitchell, South Dakota. His name is Dr. Jeff Crawl. And I went over to him and I said, hey buddy, I'm helping people get out of glasses and they're experiencing these horrible dry eye symptoms and you're putting them in glasses that make them go away. Teach me what's going on. You know the research and development we do in our center, we're curious but how are you making these patients feel better with a pair of glasses? And he taught me that the line of sight in each eye, that when they work together, there's a place of comfortable alignment. And whether you're a truck driver focusing way out there or whether you're working on a computer near, there can be uncomfortable alignment. When you do it for a long period of time, it can stimulate our largest cranial nerve, the trigeminal nerve that richly innervates our eyes and our head in our brain, and it can lead to a cascade of symptoms because of what it innervates and is now hyperstimulated of dry eyes, eye strain, and headache, what is called trigeminal dysphoria. And the symptoms are very frustrating. That besides dry eye, eye strain, and headache, light sensitivity and sore neck and dizziness, an, a, an unwillingness to read, so many things can happen, but there's hope. And you know what? He taught me it wasn't new. There was an optometrist in the 50s and 60s by the name of Turville that developed the Turville Infinity Balance to actually measure these small misalignments that were causing symptoms at a distance and place prism in glasses and put them at a comfortable alignment and actually really helped people and published a lot on it. But something changed over the ensuing decades, and that is our near vision demands went up. And traditional prism that bends the same at all distances wasn't enough. So he patented contoured prism, or prism that gave more effect at near, less at distance, what iBrain now calls the neural lens. The problem with standard prism is it bends the same at distance intermediate near. The neural lens bends more at near and less at distance. And I said to him, I said, this is absolutely fascinating, but that device is clunky and what we need to do is automate it. And he said, but that's gonna cost a ton of money. And I said, I know who to ask. So we went to Andy and Davis Corley for financial and business leadership. 
And we developed a device to automate the measurement and develop the variable prism device. And the measurement is very exquisite. It gives a specific measurement at distance and near that now answers the past research that's been done that tells us there's larger misalignments at near than there is at distance. And we can now treat them with the neural lens. And the data has been exciting. The digital vision syndrome study showed 100% positive response. Our headache study of some of the worst headaches showed an 81.6% positive response. And the, the people, 360 NeuroLens users, 93% of them had symptomatic improvement and 82.5% willingness to recommend. And we, when we looked at 17, almost 17,000 exams, we found 56% of patients were candidates and 21% of them actually invested in NeuroLenses. This is a huge market. And finally, we can address the comfort of vision and help these patients with bad phantom dry eye, digital vision syndrome, and headache. And iBrain is currently in Series D financing to help our future. Thank you.